मैनचेस्टर यूनाइटेड स्ट्रगलिंग टू विन द फर्स्ट ट्रॉफी फॉर ओले गन सोल्स कार विलर याल अगेन ओना एमरी इज जस्ट इमेंस वेन इट कम्स टू द सेकेंड बिगेस्ट यूरोपियन कॉम्पिटिशन इन क्लब फुटबॉल इज फोर्थ टाइटल सो आई फील लाइक सोलशर्स टीम इज ऑलवेज इम्प्रूविंग बट नेवर वेनिंग and that's what is the cause like he keeps saying that look at the amount of improvement we have got but hey what trophies have you won none and you've had the chance to win them with a amazing cast of players you've got Paul Pogba you've got Bruno Fernandes you've got Edison Cavani Marcus Rashford you've got Harry Maguire you've got a number of talented people in your squad and you still fail to do so name one midfielder from what Villarreal was lining up name a one household name in Villarreal's lineup apart from Raul Albiol and even that player is forgotten about now because he's playing at a, at the age of 35 so Villarreal absolutely deserved it on the night uh, they were the better team specifically in the extra time uh, and you can really see and that was because of the substitution that Solskjaer was making I right. and uh, I want to talk about the uh, the penalty shootout a little bit. Uh what were your thought on De Gea missing the penalty? Do you blame him? Absolutely not. I don't blame him for not scoring. Mm-hmm. I blame Ole Gunnar Solskjaer for not substituting him for Dean Henderson. De Gea has not saved a penalty in his last 39 attempts and uh, Dean Henderson on the other hand has saved 8 out of his 19 penalties that he faced at a club like Sheffield United. Uh Villarreal were expected to play with two defensive blocks they did that united clearly need defenders they clearly need a holding midfielder ole made a lot of mistakes uh, not substitute, substituting rashford alex telles uh, in the early stages of the second half was a mistake on ole's part this was a poor display from manchester united as a club and as an outfit not a single person is to be blamed here uh, united has always struggled with a team that has a low block and amberi knew that and that's what he did he played them on the counter and he played them like a fiddle right united weren't really able to create any clear cut chances bar a few chances here there but that was about it they didn't manage to stay on the ball uh, they had the possession but nothing to show for it and that's where uh, villarreal really took the advantage and we're seeing a pattern of an aging defender really commanding uh you can talk about the likes of Thiago Silva you can talk about Pepe you can talk about Sergio Ramos you can talk about now True. Raul Albiol what a defender and what absolutely. he did on that european immense night was absolutely immense you cannot understate it and that's where experience matters and i feel like united's defense was somewhat lacking that experience but hey what can we say villarreal congratulations what a story and united better luck next time absolutely before we close this united topic up i want to ask you a question pau torres is heavily linked to a move at manchester united and all the reports are linking that the villarreal man will be moving to england this summer was this a successful audition absolutely absolutely what a beautiful player pau torres is what a beautiful player he really showed that what united are lacking is him right he absolutely showed them absolutely. that and an example comes to mind was hauga when he was playing for boro glimt against ac milan and he absolutely lit the san siro on fire with his performance and that ended up convincing True. maldini to sign him right there and then essentially and i feel like uh, it's going to be a yes. similar scenario here with pau torres and uh, if united are intelligent they would do that and go away from the links of other big name players and and go with him 